Welcome my friends. Is your hobby laser giving you all kinds of weird wonky results because it's dirty, dusty, grungy, or nasty because you've been using it so much? I'm going to show you how I clean mine coming right up. Okay, my friends, to clean your laser, you're really not going to need a lot of stuff. You're going to need a vacuum cleaner to vacuum up any of the spare bits and dust that's laying around from your previous projects, some denatured alcohol and some Q-tips to clean your laser lens itself. That works out real well for that. Some compressed air to blow out your fan and some other components that are part of the laser. Some LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner. This works out real well to clean the components of the laser, the wheels, the belts, and other parts of the laser. It also works out real well if you make leather coasters or other products for people that you're looking to sell or give to people. Wipe it down with this and they'll look a lot better when you give them to folks. This works out well as a cleaner for a lot of stuff around the house. I'm gonna put a link to that down below. Uh, you're gonna need some brushes and some clean dry rags. And that's it. I really recommend cleaning your laser on a regular basis, weekly or more, depending on how frequently you're using your laser and how heavy you're using your laser. It's just gonna make your cuts more efficient, your laser etches uh, deeper and more complete. It's gonna make your laser happier. It's gonna make you happier in the long run. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. A couple safety points that I wanna recommend is uh, the very first thing, unplug your laser. Uh, unplug it right from the wall. Uh, unplug it from the power supply, however you have it done. And the reason I say that is if you're working on your laser, and you pull that laser module off and you've got it aimed at yourself or you're, you're trying to clean it and it starts firing accidentally, you're gonna cause a little bit of harm to yourself and it's really best to avoid that. The other thing I would recommend too, and this isn't per se a safety point, is plug your laser into universal power supply or battery backup. That way if you lose power in the middle of doing a laser cut or laser etch that's been going on for a long period of time, It'll continue to run for a short period of time at least, and you may be able to finish your project. If you don't have it plugged into a power supply, the power goes off in your neighborhood, uh, you're done. You're gonna have to restart your project, and that sucks if you've been into it for a couple hours. I've been there, and universal power supply is definitely the way to go. So we'll go on to the next step, and we'll get going here. I'm gonna move my vent system out of the way. It's a handy little thing that's on a rail here, and we'll get into it. So we're gonna move the laser head right to the back. Get that screw out of there. Clean up the laser bed itself. And I'm gonna pull out my homemade laser cutting bed. Uh, if you haven't seen the video on this, I'll put a link to that up above. Uh, this works out real well as far as being able to cut more efficiently. We're gonna do some vacuuming. The other thing I recommend too, put a piece of aluminum or something metal down uh, on your laser bed. If you're cutting through to a wooden laser bed and uh, the laser stops in one spot, you're gonna get a lot of burn or heavy uh, burn into your board and that could create a fire. We wanna avoid fires. You can see right here, I've got a spot that's uh, pretty deeply charred. Okay, after you've cleaned the laser bed itself and gotten rid of the debris, debris that's down there, uh, actually remove the laser head from its uh, mount. Uh, I wanna take off my Air assist, set to the, that to the side. And this is where you wanna take your compressed air. Uh, there's a fan down in here, just blow it out. You can see quite a bit of dust and stuff coming out. Just in general, give everything a spray down with a compressed air. And like I said, if you have compressor, uh, air compressor, that works out just as well. After that, we're gonna take our denatured alcohol. Uh, you only really need a little bit. Uh, you can put it in a cap or something like that. This is pretty full, so I don't really need to dump it into anything. So we're taking it, uh, just cleaning the lens itself, a little bit of the alcohol, and then dry it out, and that's good there. Uh, I also take a uh, cleaning rag, and you just dust everything down, the uh, shield itself, so you can actually see what's going on. It's not so dusty and grimy, like this one is actually pretty dusty and grimy. And then you also want to take a look at your air assist, look down the center of it and make sure there's nothing plugged in there. So that's nice and clean and we're looking good there. And what I also do is take the QS hips, just slide them down into the vent holes. You shouldn't really get anything because you've just dusted them out pretty well. While you've got this off, you should also look at your lens to make sure you don't see any chips or cracks in it. Uh, that will create some issues for you down the road. And there, it's just a matter of putting everything back on.
There we go. That's that. Okay, after you've cleaned your laser hub, the next thing I do is take some of the LA Awesome, put it on one of the rags, and uh, use that to clean the wheels and the belts with. You can cut this with a little bit of water, but this is a fairly gentle cleaner. I, a lot of times we'll use it straight out of the bottle. Um, you're just going to pull it on one of the wheels and run it f forward and backward to get the wheel clean. Uh, do both wheels on the top and both wheels on the bottom. And you can see uh, it is pretty dirty. Um, so you need to clean those on a fairly regular basis. Uh, this was cleaned probably a week or so ago, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, I haven't been using it a whole heck of a lot. After that, I uh, wipe down the belts because you can see that there's quite a bit of uh, dust and debris on it. And again, picking up quite a bit of it. And that's the, that side. Now we'll jump on over to the other and see what those look like. A little bit more of the LA Awesome Cleaner. Same deal. Hold it right on the wheel, run it forward, backward, top and bottom. And picking up a little bit of grunge there. This side's not as bad as the other. Top and bottom. And see a little bit of dirt and grunge on it. Uh, again, get the belts. Just rest it right in the channel. And run it down through. And definitely picking up more grunge and dirt and stuff. Uh, you want to be real careful with the belts. Make sure that there's no uh, debris under them. And the belts are, uh, need to be tensioned the same on both sides. And you want to check that. Just make sure one side's not looser than the other. And the easiest way to do that is if you uh, push the belt right here, it should have a little bit of a give. And that should be the same on both sides. And after you've done the sides, we can do the, the Y-axis, clean the belts. Quite a bit of grunge there. That one on the top was uh, definitely dirtier. And the bottom wheel, there's uh, only one on the ore turret on the bottom. And then get the rest of the frame all wiped down. And the other parts of the components. Over to the computer, I'm just gonna Use the same LA's, totally awesome cleaner on that. Wipe that down. And give everything a spray down with that. Okay, that's clean. Let's see what we get for dust here. Yeah, she's a dusty. That's clean. Uh, dust out my power supply. And just in general, clean up the, uh, the area around. Uh, you're gonna be a lot happier and everything's gonna work a lot better for you in the long run. That's cleaning my laser and my computer. It didn't take all that long as you saw and it isn't that difficult. As I said earlier, do it on a weekly basis or more depending on how frequently you are using your laser and your laser will work better for you. It'll cut cleaner and etch clearer and everything will just be better and you'll turn out some better projects. While you are cleaning it though, be careful of hitting this emergency stop button. You've hit the emergency stop button when you plug your laser back in. It's not gonna work the way you anticipate. It probably won't work at all. Ask me how I know that. I want you to know one thing though, your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, get out in your garage and do something epic like Clean your laser. See you.